Hello, I am home from work. Just going to wash off my makeup. Ah, oh, damn it. It's dead. Oh, we'll just use it. <laughs> I already put the cleanser on it. freaking pimple like that literally was not there yesterday yeah and I woke up with a giant fit okay so I think I'm going to ow oh my god I forgot to tell you guys but I got not one not two but three paper cuts on just these two fingers just just yesterday alone the first one this one I got from trying to measure for a couch just to see like how long it would be just in the living room like in our living room um, and then I got this one and this one from changing signs yesterday at work but I was like damn so now every time like I wash my hand or whatever it obviously burns a bit so yeah okay so I'm going to just kind of do a little bit more skincare but I am also going to clean my conch today honestly day to day I do not do anything to it I would say every second every second day I probably just gave it like a little spray of any kind of um, aftercare piercing wash but unfortunately this is a piercing that does not heal well um, I do have like a travel pillow that I do with like the hole and I do put my ear in the little donut but unfortunately I, again, I, I honestly do think it's because I have not changed my bar. I've mentioned that a few times. So my bar is still the original length of when I first got it pierced. So it is a little bit long for swelling again when I first got it done. I could have changed it like three months after I got it done, but I don't live in Toronto and I barely go there, so I just haven't changed it yet. And... I don't want to change it anywhere around me because I purchased this particular Swarovski stud for I think it was like $75 so if I get it changed at a different piercing place they'll want me to buy their jewelry when I, I already spent $75 on this one so that's why I haven't changed it yet but again I don't go to Toronto to do that so whatever um it's honestly it's getting a little crusty it's pretty gross actually um i can't move it backwards nor forwards because of the crust buildup again i have had this piercing for a year and it still gets crusty so i like to do i'll show you my little routine that i do um i like to do this i would say like once or twice a month at least just to make sure i am doing a deep cleaning but also it's actually the for me it's the only way to remove the crusty parts um once they're kind of dried on showers do not do it for me because the water doesn't constantly hit it and also when the shower is directly hitting it it also kind of hurts so let me just go with the spray that i use i have also used h2 ocean as well um, but this one is the neil med wound wash piercing aftercare fine mist even if I spray this right now with the crust, it does not remove the crust. The crust is dried on essentially. So this just doesn't do it. I have to give it a soak to soften the crust. It's gross. I will be doing like a full um, video on this. But yeah, even after a year, it still gets crusty. Just so, just throw that out there. So for my soak, 
I just take a cup, mug, this is a mug, and I fill it with really warm water, not hot, because like I am going to put it in my ear like this. So I don't want it to burn myself, but I need it to be warm enough to soften the crust. And then the um, salt that I use to also clean the piercing is the, what brand is this? Recovery. 100% dead sea salt piercing rinse. I purchased this online. I bought two. It was fairly inexpensive. It's lasted me a while. So you measure one cup of sterile or distilled water. Honestly, I use tap. I haven't had a problem with tap. Um, and then you mix one quarter of a teaspoon of salt into the water. Make sure that the water is warm so that the salt actually dissolves in it. And then it also says that you can add two to three drops of tea tree oil. I don't do that. I have had allergic reactions to tea tree oil, so I just don't do that. I literally just use this. And then you submerge your piercing again the ear in i do it just for five minutes it says five to ten. Oh, i also use q-tips the q-tips are for the end once my five minutes are up i will dip a q-tip into my water solution and i will clean the piercing and make sure that the crust is gone i used to measure it i can't be bothered to do that anymore i just kind of pour them out in it and hope for the best Again, I will leave um, this link down below with my mug. Um, hold on, let me put you down for a moment. Okay, so I set a timer for five minutes. I get my, I don't know, this is just like my vanity chair. I put it there and I literally stick my ear in it like this and I just sit here for five minutes. Here are all the lovely cookies. Amazing. But I'm hungry so I need to find something to eat. So we finally have some ketchup so I'm going to make some grilled cheese. Even though we only have like the ends of the toast which is the shittiest part but also make it, it's fine. I have a story for you guys really quick when my mom anytime as a child would be baking any kind of cookie or anything we'd have like an ugly pile basically they're just like broken and not perfect and my mom would literally we were only allowed to eat from the ugly pile because the nice pile was always for neighbors or co-workers or whatever so <laughs> So now we're trained, we go, where's the ugly pile? Or we go, can I take from the, the good pile? And then, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Now it's funny, I used to hate it because I wanted a nice cookie. Wow. Well. You like it, me? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so packing that one box, <laughs> that bitch is heavy as hell, and 
I'm just getting worried because like I cannot carry it so I need Zach which Zach is helping me move but I'm like if he drops that like I'll I will kill him so I'm thinking that I need to literally like undo what I already did I think it's smart of me to pack my clothes in the boxes that I have and then use the suitcases for my makeup because like it's like rolls and stuff and a little sturdier so oh god now I have to do that even though I already did it not... but I think that will make me a little bit more comfortable and this is like three drawers of makeup this isn't even full collection so th that's a problem like can no mistakes can be made update this is filled with layers of makeup clothes makeup clothes just kind of like this smaller suitcase so i have blushes on top some clothes and then like foundations and eyeshadow palettes underneath um i was taking clothes from this box to of course layer in between i just have everything in ziploc bags just in case if like foundations and stuff did break again we are hoping it will not and then all these i am just going to keep out for now a lot of them i still need like some casual clothes just like regular camis this one is filled with clothes those two i still kind of have i'm watching some tv here i have some more baskets for clothes if i need there's another box if i need i still need to go through these guys this stuff i'm keeping right now so i literally just have like two concealers one eyebrow pencil one bronzer two palettes um i want to use like the christmasy green in this one for christmas so i want that i'll pick a couple mascaras um but yeah most of these i think are empty i think this one that one I'm keeping this blush palette. Just primers and brushes. But she's coming along. She's a mess. But I think like after this is this little suitcase is done. I am going to just kind of shove everything in my closet area and start to edit because I'm kind of behind on that since I haven't even started yet, and I think it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, so I need to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>